I've always been an adventurer. I've always kind of pushed the boundaries and looked for experiences that most people don't know exist. And this is one that I had come across many years ago and I wanted to make happen. But descending into a live volcano where the, the lava farting poisonous gas, I mean, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing. Yeah, it was, it was certainly uh, unlike anything else I've, I've ever done. Was it hot? Uh, hot at the top, extremely hot at the bottom. It was about a thousand degrees of uh, Fahrenheit radiant heat when you're approaching the shore of the lava lake. So yes. And you know, it's interesting to me in, in, a, in, a, in a world of GoPro where they think that you know these adventures sort of some become real to people. Yeah. What the business opportunity is there, both from a media standpoint and then beyond? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think there's so many opportunities to capture incredible content with cameras like that. Um, so that was part of my intent, is especially uh, on this most recent expedition, going down there with the film crew and actually capturing it in a way like it's never been seen before. And what kind of tech was involved? So uh, I partnered with two companies, actually. Uh, one was a drone company called DJI, and the other one was a wearable tech company that makes uh, a product that measures your emotional response to a given experience. And you can imagine that was kind of all over the map. What, it said freak out across your <laughs> chest? I mean, what, what is the emotional response yeah. one gets as they're lowered into a volcano? Yeah, well, it was, it was uh, all over the map. You know, there were peaks of excitement and troughs of nervousness and stress. Uh, we were able to actually take that data, overlay it onto the GoPro footage that I had, and kind of retrace exactly what I was feeling and, and come back with a story to tell that's more than just imagery, actually. Really? So you used the data to add to the native narrative and then narrate it on top of that? That's exactly right. So I, I'm super passionate about experiences. I'm also equally passionate about technology. And in this kind of digital millennial age, I think there's a cool opportunity to merge those worlds. So that's exactly what we did. What do you mean passionate about experiences? It, it passionate about unearthing you know, experiences and adventures and activities that um, are unknown or lesser known and reporting back to the world on things that most people don't know exist or don't know a lot about. Do you feel like the, the reporting of it itself somehow takes away from the personal experience or, is, or do you push yourself further because you know everyone's going to see it? That's a good question. I think there's an element to um, technology that allows me to capture the experience in a way w without detracting from it personally, which is part of the reason why I thought it would be interesting to record this. I don't have to talk into a microphone. I'm just descending and my body is doing what it's doing. And we're able to kind of visualize that in the form of graphs, pie charts, and a biometric thumbprint, actually, which we created. Fascinating. Uh, so what's the revenue model here? Where, how do you get the payback? Uh, so far, outside of the thrill, yeah, outside of the thrill, uh, I've not actually monetized this yet. But my goal moving forward is to to create a whole series of adventures and embark uh, with technology and sponsor these experiences from companies that are looking for branding opportunities and tell a story, tell a oh, story on digital outlets and, and on television. GoPro thinks that they're going to build a media business that they're somehow going to get people to I don't know give them the videos or or they'll own the media. Yeah. They've got a, a channel on Virgin America Airlines and they've got little things on YouTube. There's some big things on YouTube. Mm -hmm. What do you think of, of the company's intention to own that kind of media? Uh, you know, I think it's, it's a brilliant model. They have a distributed uh, team of, of filmmakers from all around the world that are probably pretty stoked to just submit their films. But for, for in my case, I'm, I'm particularly interested in actually owning that content and working with lots of different partners. So not necessarily um, handing that over for free, per se, but certainly partnering with a lot of companies, including GoPro. And I think there's a lot of natural synergies there.